Uh, John, you've kind of run into kind of a difficult situation with uh, stock models there and something that comes up quite a bit. And I'm just going to walk through how I do it. And then obviously this is in regular Mastercam, but the, the process is the same for Mastercam for SolidWorks. Um, and then that should give you a better idea of how to go about it. So basically I just quick drew up a tombstone here and I've got this first part and then the second uh, part over here Turn that tombstone back on. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an operation and make a stock model out of this. And then I think what you're trying to do is put the updated stock over on this side. And you highlighted a problem that, you know, don't try to save STLs out of verify. Um, they're going to come in lousy and they cause issues just like you just saw. Um, so I'm going to show you a different way that should work better for you. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into our tool pass manager here. The first thing I'm going to do is create a stock model. All right. And I'll just call this initial and I'll create a, mo I'll grab the model I'll grab that block right there and we'll make it a color. I'll just pick a random color here just so we can identify it. Now I'm going to shut off my stock level. Okay. So that's the initial stock. Uh, this should be in my front. Yeah, it's in my front plane. So I'm going to go into my planes and just set everything equal to front. All right, so let's create a quick OptiRough on that part. And we'll leave not that much. Okay, so we're leaving 10,000s tool. Uh, let's just grab a quarter inch full end mill. There we go. Okay, cut parameters. I'm not really too concerned about any of that. Uh, stock, I'm gonna use that initial stock that I made. And let's just, let's do some steep shallow here. Minimum, Z will be here and maximum Z will be down here. All right, hopefully that gives us something to work from. Yep, perfect. All right, not ideal, but for the sake of what we're doing here. So I'm going to copy that stock model down. Oh, copy to the pull path, not the stock model. All right, copy that stock model down. Um, and now we're going to call this after rough. And the source operation will be this and the initial stock model. Check, regen. Okay, obviously this isn't gonna be realistic as far as machining, but for the process that we're gonna follow here, it'll be good. Okay, so we've got a stock model and now you wanna take that stock model and go over to the second station in a different plane. Now it is possible to go in and adjust these stock planes. However, almost impossible. It's just not an easy thing to do to transfer those planes as, as you probably found out. It's just not an easy, easy concept to get that, get that plane set up to move around. So typically, you know, you could go into verify, save this off as an STL and then try to re-import that and, it's just not going to work that well. So what I do is I right click on the stock model and let's go to mill tool paths and save our stock model convert to P mesh. That's also here. Convert to P mesh. So I'm just going to go convert to P mesh. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Convert to P mesh. Oh, dang, I saved it. I'm, I had an active level on. Let me go to, let me make a new level for that. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, let's do that again. See, convert to PMesh. All right, so now if we shut that stock model off, you can see we have a selectable stock in the model. I can go to transform dynamic, I can grab that mesh. 
grab that. Uh, actually, I probably, I mean, I wanted to grab that corner up here because that'll be more easily able to locate off of. And now I'll take this and I'll move it. All right, so now that puts that P mesh down in this corner. So now I can come in here and and I can make this stock model. Um, I could just either copy the stock model down or change it to look at that one. I'll copy it down. And now I'll take this and call this new location. And stock, uh, now we wanna do a model shape. And I'm gonna pick that P mesh. And we don't need to worry about this anymore. Let me check. Regen. And now if I shut that P mesh level off, we should have a stock model there that now I can reference for my other tool paths. Uh, so that's a way to get a stock model there. You could do it directly from the P mesh. The tool pass will recognize that P mesh as well. So now you get the stock model in both orientations. And that's typically what I teach how to do. It's uh, the easiest way to understand it um, from my perspective. Like I said, there is a way to go in and move these planes around, but it's a guess, test, and revise, and it is certainly not easy. And I would definitely not recommend saving STLs off inside of Verify. So give that a try. Let me know.